Hello guys, Sisikot here and welcome back to Star Stable. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you get a notification when I post new Star Stable episodes and I click a little bell in the corner so you get the notifications right away. We are basically close to the everyone, no, it's not what it's called, Everwind Field or Oil Field and Civic Land Manor. I said last week that we should return to Yorick City, but since we have so many quests going on here, we need to uh, change plans, I think. Um, and I have also been working on with the Gartners and they have a new quest for us as well, so... <laughs> And we have with the riding hall, we have that ri not riding trailer, there we go. The trailer uh, that Jake gonna drive down to the riding hall, but <laughs> I have a bad feeling about that. So I'm a little unsure what to do because we have so many quests going on everywhere. And we also have Ed Field with uh, Igor and Frankie to go over to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaurs. So yeah, I wish I had more time for sure. All right, um, let's first, since we are basically on the road down to the gardeners here, we can have a chat with them first and then see what other things we got to do. <laughs> Hello, Bjorn. I see you have a new quest. What can we help you with today? The day has arrived, Stella. Finally, the tulips have bloomed. I'm so excited, it feels like I'm going to fly off into space. Oh, okay. The air feels pretty thin up there. Or here. And he passed. Nope, I fainted. Not passed away, that would be so bad. <laughs> oh, what? Hey Stella, what are you doing here? Helping you with the tulips? The tulips, hurry up, harvest them. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. Oh wow, how pretty! Okay, I totally understand his reaction. Wow, it looks so beautiful. I can't wait until we've basically done the whole garden. It will be so pretty. And I hope we can get these roses as well. They are so pretty. Alright, let's first get up here and harvest the beautiful tulips. Oh, look at the color. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to spring for sure but the weather here is going back and forth so now we have winter again after like two months with rain and warm weather so yeah mother nature can never decide which season it will be in or she will be in there we go back to bjorn and we will see if we can open up a new garden but i have a feeling we're gonna plant these tulips up at the manor first before we do anything else. All right, Bjorn, the tulips are harvested. I'm so filled with a sense of beauty from these wonderful flowers. I can't even speak, Stella. This is the best day of my life. Take this, Stella, please leave me. I want to savor, savor and enjoy this incredible moment in peace. And we got some boots. Let's see how they look like. Ooh. Fancy ones. Tulips in the vineyard, of course. Status in the moon garden. All right. Stella, I haven't quite re recovered yet. I'm so happy. How can life be better than this? I know. We can restore another part of the garden. Which part? Do we have permission? Why do you have to be such a downer, Stella? Oh, okay, okay. Here, plant these tulips around the vineyard and I'm sure the baroness will be happy. Hurry, hurry. There is no time to waste. And the other quest you have? Do you feel like helping make the moon gun even nicer, Stella? Sure. There used to be beautiful statues around the flower beds here. They need to be repaired, but to do that I need a special kind of marble that can only be found in Cliffside Country. Nope, not country, county. If you can collect some of that marble for me, I will make sure the statues will return to the moon garden. All right, I can actually go down to Cliffside County first and then plant these tulips all over the place at the vineyard. All right, I have to admit, I have never been here before and it's actually going, when you're taking the race, there's a little way going down here and here's the marble. 
quite special and very calm place to just relax near the water. Very relaxing, actually. Okay, I will collect all these and then we will return up to the vineyard to plant some tulips. All right, let's see how many tulips we need to plant here. Oh, this time we cannot be on horseback. <laughs> let's see how it looks like. Oh, wow, that was so pretty. We need to plant six. <gasps> Look at the color. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh. I think I have seen these flowers before, but wow, look at that blue one. I really want one. <laughs> okay, I will plant all them, or all of the tulips, and then we will speak to the Baroness, I think. All right, let's speak to the Baroness about these beautiful tulips, and hopefully she will give permission to continue with the beautiful garden. And yeah, we also have this ghost in the wine cellar. Quest, which is or which was a GED trainee, but that we maybe need to save for tomorrow. Oh, great looking tulips. They really create a good feeling over the whole estate. Which means, I hope, good news. Fiona and Metha are truly exceptional gardeners. Give them my thanks and tell them they can continue with their project. Hooray! They will be so happy for that. All right, I have two. Good news, here's the marble, and permission to continue with the garden. Thank you, Stella. Now I can start repairing the statues. Right over and look, but try not to faint too many times. I planted some more little bushes while I was at it. Ooh. That was beautiful. This garden is looking better and better, and I can't wait to continue with these two. Good for you to come over, Stella. I thought I was going to explode from excitement. I had a fantastic vision. Okay. I'm tired of flowers, Stella. I can no longer stand the sight of them. Flowers are so 2012. So gray and small, incredibly boring. But now I have a new idea. A fantastic idea that is going to revol re revolutionize the whole gardening world. Which is... Bushes! We're going to plant bushes in long, neat rows in the next part of the garden. Agnetha's Grow. Named by my... Me, named by me, no, her honor. Can you picture it, Stella? Agnetha drinking her coffee in her grow, people lining up for blocks to get a glimpse of our fantastic gardening masterpiece. Believe me, Stella, this is going to bring millions of Jorvik shillings to Jorvik when a million people come to visit Jorvik each year to see it. Bjorn Jarl. That is what they are going to call me. They are going to write history books in our honor. Bushes? That's right, we need to plant bushes. Rather to my dear friend Felicity in Fikro and ask her for shots from her bushes. They will be perfect for our garden. Hurry! I will hurry. Hello Felicity, do you have some bushes or something like that? Bush shots for Bjorn and Agnetha's garden? Yeah. Are you sure you know what you're getting yourself into, Stella? Agnetha has the screw loose, as may maybe you have noticed. She actually used to work here, but I had no choice but to fire her. When I woke up one morning, she had gone around the whole village and woken up all the old retired folks and put them to work weeding the gardens around the fences. When I asked her why, she told me I should stop whining and get shovel to help. She said the old wrinkles... <laughs> Wrinkles shouldn't be lying around doing nothing. Retired, you make me laugh. That's what she used to say. I really had no choice but to let her go. But you seem pretty sensible, Stella. Take these shots and ride back over to her and Bjorn. Maybe she had, she has calmed down a bit these days. Yeah, I don't know. She's still a very special person. <laughs> All right, I got the push shots from Felicity. Wow, I feel like I could burst with happiness. These bush shots are amazing. Agnetha. Little Stella, now you had plenty of rest. It's time to roll up your sleeves and get to work. I have been waiting for, waiting since 3 a.m. for you to show up. Oh, she's still the same. Still the same. You sleepyhead. Mark the edges of the grow here with the measuring sticks. Go ahead. You know how this is done. 
Yes, miss. Or Mrs. maybe. She's I think she's married to Bjorn. <laughs> yep. This particular garden then. Or was it yeah. I can see it here. So let's place them out and then we will maybe wait a day and then we can go on with our next mission that I have in mind. Oh, come on. Here we go. Last one is here. There. Let's see if we can get out here. I can barely see. Oop! Yeah, alright. Alright, all set. No, oh, a little too close there. Sorry. Well done, Stella. Stand back and I will get started with a chainsaw and dynamite at your marks. And then we got a clock, and with that we're actually gonna return to Jalheim to continue with Jack and the uh, car and the trailer. Hey Jake, are you ready for this? And can you please drive a little careful this time? This is gonna be so much fun, I will drive faster than the lightning. Ugh, no. I will beat all the records. Hello, it's not a supercar, it's a big car with a big horse trailer behind. The driver? Meh. I sent him home. I couldn't let someone else do something as much fun as this. Take it easy. I will, I've got this. Trust me, Stella. Trust me. No! You basically drowned out the car. It fell into the water. You're... No bad words, but yeah. Right, I'm off. I will see you at the riding arena. It's probably best you follow Jake and make sure he gets there safely. Yeah. so far so good oh no Ugh, that Jake looks like something has fallen out of the trail it's probably best you pick it up and give Jack something oh, already here all right then six flags have fallen out Jake will never learn will he nope definitely not um, Jake, what are you doing here? This is not the way to the riding hall. Hey there! Nice work on picking up those flags. They are apparently supposed to be for marking the founding place. Must be something up with the trailer door. If they are just falling out like that. No, you're driving too fast. That's the problem. Hmm, did I check whatever the door was closed before I set off? Meh, I haven't got time for checking that kind of boring stuff. If you want someone to keep an eye on that kind of thing, you should hire a professional. Dear old dad should have thought about that before he started this project, but never mind that. Hey, by the way, I think there's something wonky with this map. There's no riding arena here. Riding arena on here? Well, not here. Obviously. Ah, now I get it. I had the map upside down. Lucky I'm so clever. Someone should really tell me tell the map company to print their stuff right right way up next time. Oh wow, Jake. Try and keep up if you can. I will be driving as fast as lightning over this old hill. Yep, we should definitely follow. Alright, next mission, here we go. And I can see already a flag has fallen out quite early. Yeah, and six new flags, I guess? Yep. Jake, again, we are still far away from the riding hall. Wait, is this really the riding arena? No, this map is totally useless. I will not comment on that. How could anyone create such a useless map? Or useless maps? I'm just going to follow my gut feeling instead. That always works out better. Where should I be going, Stella? In the direction you're pointing? Towards the forgotten fields? Okay, great. In that case, I'm gonna do something I have wanted to do for a long time. It's gonna be... Or it will be so cool. You're gonna see something pretty awesome now, Stella. I'm going to jump... No, you're not going to jump with this car. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna jump the whole gap between here and the Forgotten Fields. No! Take the road, mister. What do you mean you're not sure? Use the bridge? Meh, you're so boring. But yeah, whatever, Grandma. Excuse me? You should watch your mouth. 
Still gonna put my foot down though. Faster than a speeding bullet. See ya. See ya whenever, slow coach. He's so irresponsible. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue that collecting flag thing. All right, Jake, we are getting closer, but what is it now? Look, next time you guys need to give me much clearer directions. They were totally wrong. There's no riding arena here. Where am I? Forgotten fields, and if you're just driving down there, you will see it. Yeah, yeah, don't stand here all sh ashamed, Stella. Guess we are off home now, then. Hey, we're never going to find this riding arena anyway. What? You can see it from here? Yeah, look! Ha! Amazing! Now it's on! I'm gonna jump the trailer over the water and through the window of the riding arena. Pull a sweet skid and bring it to a stop right between the obstacles. Jake, you are just so crazy and weird. What? Not a good idea? Man, I can't even listen to your boring comments right now. See you at the riding arena, Grandma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we have it. And we gotta collect flags once more. Well, li this looks a bit better. Now we are quite close. All right, Jack. What's this? A whole bunch of water and no ramp to jump over it with? How are you supposed to make it across this water? Therefore, we have the flags. Yo, this must be the place Dad was talking about. He mumbled about some kind of fording place I should use, but it didn't sound all that important, so I just cranked the volume uh, on my G pod so I didn't have to listen. But listen, Stella. Take those flags from the trailer and mark out the fording place so that I can try over the. try over the riding arena. There we go. <laughs> Seriously, I'm starting to get really bored with this old heap of junk. Shouldn't we just head back to Yolaheim and play video games instead? Jake. We are so close, though. No? Okay, then. But this is the last thing I'm doing with this trailer. When you're... Then you're on your own. I've got super important mayor stuff to take care of. Like playing video games. Really, Jake? Okay, let's put out these flags. He's just so childish. And he's supposed to be the mayor of Jarlheim. But he has Jill. Thank goodness for that. Alright, Jake. Now you can drive over here. Slowly. So, now there's a couple flags here to point out where you can cross the water. I have to say, a massive ramp that you could jump over <laughs> would have been so much cooler. Hmm, maybe I should build on build one instead. I am the mayor after all. Check. Ha! I'm gonna smash the world's super speed record. See you by the running arena, you slow coach. Yeah. Oh, it's going through the grass there. <laughs> Alright, let's find him. Close to the riding arena here. There you are, and the trailer looks in one piece. It looks good in one piece, so that's uh, good. But yeah, hmm. Boom! Trailer delivered. Nice! This job was getting really boring. Now I'm back off home to Jarlheim Stella. Tons of mega important things to do. Wanna come back and play video games with me? Nope. Nope. Fine. Hmm. So we are all done with this whole trailer baloney, are we? Let the let that drink old baroness know that the trailer's in place now. Should make the old lizard happy. Whoa! Easy with the word there. Guess you can have a go and see if it's work at the same time. Say here from me, Jay Goldsburg, the coolest mayor ever. Well, we can maybe discuss that. Now I'm off back to your line. See you around, Stella. Well, we can then actually test it and see if we can get in one piece up to the Civic Glad Manor. Alright, Baroness, the riding... Nope. <laughs> the 
the trailer is placed safely at the writing hall or close to the writing hall. Good afternoon, dear Stella. The trailer is in place. Wonderful. I hope it wasn't any trouble. I think we should not let him know all this stuff with Jake. This will be very appreciated by all the writers here in Sivoglade. I'm sure of it. As a thank you for your help, I hope you will accept this little gift. Again, many thanks for your help. Until next time, dear Je De what? <laughs> Until next time, dear Stella. <gasps> and we are also level 16! Hooray! Okay, let's see what we got from the burners. We got some shoes. No, was there? No, what was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't pants. There we go. Ah, they were actually quite cool. Thank you, Bernice. But as I can see, we are actually out of time, so we need to end this video here. Uh, we eventually got the trailer in place, but that took some time because Jake was all over the place and was driving to many weird places. So yeah, he was of course blaming the maps. But I think it is, it is his uh, driving skills, but okay. Um, in the next episode, I'm not sure if we're gonna continue here at the vineyard or check out the other cool stuff that is around here because we have so many to check out. And as I can see, we are in March month right now and we still have the Star Stable Winter Riders to take care of. So this will maybe be the last week we have two episodes because we need to return to the Winter Riders next week. So we will see. But with that, I have a very exciting quest we're going to begin with next week when we only have one episode to go for. So yeah, you guys, what do you think about Jake and his driving skills? Like, he drowned the other car that he was supposed to take up to his brother. So, of course, you cannot trust him the second time. And again, I was right. He was just all over the place. But the car and the trailer got to the riding arena without being drowned or crashed or anything so somehow it worked but he was just so bad at driving the car <laughs> so let me know what you think about today's episode and i hope you are excited for tomorrow's episode as well because we're going to continue with some quests here and there and then we actually need to go down to one next week because of the wind riders so give a thumbs up if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends, and I see you in the next episode. Bye!